no the day <laughs> something new we've decided to create the 3rd of november as this day we've registered it on the international awareness day website it's an official thing and it's coming up it's just a week away and i'm giving you some ideas of what you could do on the day how you could be involved competitions we're running with prizes and some special deals of digital access to uh, stuff we normally sell on the website here that you can get for free on the day. And why November? Well, it's a lovely time of year to get started for next spring. You could make a new bed, for example, on no big day. You could celebrate beds you've already got and you're growing plants and harvest some produce and have some friends around and tell the world. It's a great chance to share this very simple knowledge with a lot of people who still don't know about no dig and help them to find easier ways to garden and grow more food for themselves healthily and to give an idea let's go and have a look at a new no dig bed i made seven years ago this is a no dig bed i made here seven years ago and it's been cropping fantastically ever since. We just put on an inch or three centimetres of new compost every year. Not a huge amount. Keep planting. Uh, this is second planting, so we already had peas, spring onions, beetroot, carrots, lettuce through the spring. Clear them, twist out the plants in July, replant, and there you go. You can make one of these. You, you can make one actually at any time of year, but this is a nice time, and then come March, it's all ready to go. And then we're going to celebrate the day uh, I don't think I need to make any more beds at the moment well, actually I might <laughs> but we're going to celebrate the day by having a lovely lunch here Nicola my PA is very good at making squash soup we've got loads of lovely winter squash and she's going to be preparing that in the morning and we're going to celebrate with lots of other vegetables as well have a feast here you could do that anytime on the day that's fun we're also holding two competitions one for grown-ups or actually anybody caption competition so we'll be uploading a photo to my website and to social media twitter instagram facebook have a look see what you think the funniest competition will win a copy of my new book no dig and also access to an online course of your choice and for children we have a competition of create your dream garden your your most lovely imaginative productive no dig garden space anything it could be tiny, it could be bigger. Uh, either do it and take a photo or just write a, do a drawing, send us that email. And then um, we'll judge that by how we think it's really good. And we'll announce the winners on Sunday evening, actually 6th November. The details for this are all on my website and you will receive as prize for that. Two copies of my new book, No Dig Children's Gardening Book and also on the day you can sow some seeds. Let's have a look. Early November is a great time for sowing these. These are broad bean seeds we saved and we actually might even sow and grow some for green manure. I'm putting one seed per cell, <laughs> that's the aim. <laughs> and You've got, you've got another week or so after this in mild temperate climates, not too cold, continental. They don't like a frost below about minus eight, 18 Fahrenheit. So we're giving on the day free access. If you sign up on the day, you get free access forever to the Broadbean lesson of my online course, Seed to Harvest. That's got loads of words, photographs, description of how to grow Broadbean. It's got its own video. We're also giving free access when you sign up on the day to a really nice product, which is the module about winter gardening, which is part of my skills online course. It's also in the skills book, in fact, but we're giving you free access to that whole module, which is three lessons when you sign up on the day. And then you, you can keep looking at it for, for however long you want after that. And likewise, but 20% off we're giving um, access with 20% off to digital products 
from my website so that's like online courses and the calendar i think we'll just about have it finished by then and um anything else digital <laughs> that you find on my on my website and on 3rd november we are releasing a video tour of homemaker's garden it's it'll be what would have been normally the october tour we are probably going to film it right at the end of october we we need to pick a nice day for doing that not always easy at this time of year and then we'll release it on the third as a premiere so i'll be there for an hour before and during the video to answer your questions and you can have a little around homemakers and see what's going on at this mid to late autumn time of year and i look forward to seeing you perhaps on that one or seeing what you get up to on the day. I hope you have a nice time.